Hi there, I'm Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. I am a soul sculptor. I'm also the founder of Love Yourself Fearlessly, Orgasm for Life, and my website, jenniferelizabethmasters.com. So today I'd like to talk to you about depression. It is a growing concern uh, for people of all ages, from preschool age children all the way up to uh, people in their golden years and you know for a long time many years over 20 years for me that I was aware I was depressed and I healed it myself naturally and I would love to share my story with you of how I changed my life and now I'm helping other people heal theirs so depression is something that um, you know, we often feel, you know, it might be feeling sad or, or feeling blue, but de real depression is something that goes on for a long time, you know, years, not just a few days. And that's what it, ha it, was, it was like for me. It was very difficult to function. So um, what I'd like to do before we get started is um, <laughs> I've got clients texting me. How do I do this? How do I do that? So it, it, just hang with me for a few minutes. I'm not going anywhere. I just, I need to um, share this video so that it is not just on one page, but on many. Hang on. And, you know, I'd love for you to share this with your friends too, because, um, you know, this is a, this is a big issue. I love that sound. So I have a group. My group is um, Manifest a Magical Life. All right. Got one more here I'm going to share. Okay. So what I'd like to talk to you about first is, so what causes depression and, and why are so many people depressed today? Well, depression is not meant to be something that we live with for the rest of our lives. I had somebody ask me on Quora that question today. You know, what happens if we're going to be depressed our whole life? And that is not what depression is for. Depression has a purpose. And what is the purpose? The purpose is so that you recognize there's something not right. Depression is a road sign on the path of life to show us that we need to do something differently. That's all it is. It's a sign on the road of life that and we need to do something differently. It could be living life differently. It could be taking a... Um, a different path home. It could be changing uh, your job. It could be uh, giving up alcohol. It could be breaking up with a person that, that is a narcissist. Or it could be healing that past trauma. And now I'm going to list a few things that cause depression. And maybe you've experienced some of these. Here we go. Sexual molestation, just, I can't even say the word, a sexual molestation in childhood that is not healed will cause depression. And why is it? Because sexual molestation causes anger that we feel we don't have a right to have because the person who's been molested feels like somehow they brought it on themselves. Somehow they need to be blamed for it. Somehow they need to be feeling guilty for what happened. They feel like they caused it in some way. So another thing that could cause depression is rape. You losing your job, losing your spouse, losing a child can cause depression. Having health issues that you can't seem to get a handle on can cause depression. Relationship issues, abuse can cause depression. And I've experienced every one of these things. And I've overcome them all. So I know what I'm talking about. I am not blowing smoke 
into uh, pipes or anywhere else. I am telling you the truth. And you can go to my website, check out my story. I have all kinds of videos on YouTube about it. I have 1,100 articles on, on my blog and on, on Love Yourself Fearlessly. I also have uh, um, a couple of books out there on Amazon that you could read. Odyssey, Victim to Victory is the story of my life, how I healed it. And all the stuff that I went through to just explain, you know, this is how it happens. So there are a lot of things that can happen that, that can cause depression, but those are the major things. Now, the other thing, now I've never done this, I've never been in the military, but those that have been in the military that have, have been away, they've been um, in foreign countries, they fought uh, they've seen all kinds of horrible things, and that is also trauma. And that kind of trauma causes depression as well, especially when you come back stateside and nobody remembers you. And so many of our, our ex-military personnel end up homeless. And, you know, I've as someone who has helped homeless people in, in Boulder, I had... Uh, a gentleman live with us for a time in the winter when it was so cold and he couldn't get in a shelter. We've had many conversations about depression and, and why people become homeless. And, you know, sexual trauma is one of the major reasons. And so we need to do something about this. We need to stop sexual trauma. We need to stop having children molested as an, at an early age where their innocence is lost and they can't say no. And then they go on to be victimized into adulthood and have horrible relationships because they feel like a victim and that is what they attract. So what I do is I help to clear all these programs. And today, as a matter of fact, I worked with a young woman in the UK who was raped by her father. And in the third session, wait a minute, second session was last week. It was the second session, and we're only doing 30-minute sessions. And um, on the second session, I said to her, I feel something in your hips. And she said, no, I, I, don't, I don't sense anything there. And I said, well, I do. I feel it. And so I cleared it, and I felt it move. I felt it lift. I felt her energy shift. And today, when we st started talking on, on Zoom, she said to me, oh, my God, I feel so joyful. I feel so expanded. I have forgiven my father. I have forgiven my exes. I have." She changed her life in three weeks. Three weeks. So it can happen to you, too. All right, so I'm going to go through a couple of things that could help you heal depression. Um, essential oils is one of them. Love those essential oils. I will, I will tell you what they are. So um, we're going to get into that in just a second, but right now what I'd like to talk to you about is, so how do you know if you're depressed? Well, you might have difficulty concentrating, maybe or maybe not existent. And uh, mine improved tremendously when I started clearing um, all the depression programs and my anger issues. So here are some things that you might be experiencing that could give you that warning sign that you're depressed. You have clutter in your home and in your car that you can't seem to deal with. You maybe get up in the daytime and you just don't feel like taking a shower. You don't want to shave or even put on makeup. Maybe you just don't give a crap about how you look. Um, you may be em emotionally reactive. You could be leaving things on the floor, your bills unpaid, not returning phone calls. You may be in a state of overwhelm and have reduced libido. Um, you know, that you could feel unloved, unwanted. You could have weight gain or weight loss. You, you are wanting to eat sweet stuff and comfort foods, ice cream and fast foods. You may have unconscious eating where you just eat and eat and eat in front of the television and you're not even aware of how much you are eating. That is un totally unconscious. Um, you may have a short attention span. You may have insomnia, not be able to sleep. And that's one of the things that people say to me after they work with me, oh my God, I had the best sleep last night after that clearing with you. So when your energy is cleared, it is amazing how you're able to sleep. So other things that could be uh, signs that you're depressed, irritability, 
uh, general malaise of the body and mind, uh, body pains that are unexplained. Fibromyalgia, Epstein-Barr are things that you might end up with, and I've cured all of those things. They all went away when I healed my life. Okay, so yes, you can take antidepressants, but what are they? They're a Band-Aid. They mask the, the symptoms. They make you feel numb, and I've had clients come to me. They put their dog to sleep and were not even able to cry because of the antidepressants. What it does is totally mask how you feel and numbs you. Um, I also do clearings for suicidal programs. And um, so read my story. Uh, you can Google my name, Jennifer Elizabeth Masters, depression, and all kinds of things will come up. I've got archived articles. So, so for me, um, I removed those suicidal programs um, from young women who have, have attempted suicide 12 times. And then when I did that, cleared the past life where she commit, committed suicide in the past, and she didn't do it anymore, didn't have that desire. So there's lots of things that, that we're going to talk about here. Um, okay, so how do you relieve depression naturally? Well, you could get an energy clearing. And, you know, there are lots of people out there doing energy clearings, and um, that is what I do. Um, you could do hypnotherapy. You could do cognitive therapy coupled with an energy clearing. You could do therapy, but that's a longer range thing. I mean, I am more interested in let's get it gone, you know, move it along. Let's not do this for 20 years. Uh, Bach flower remedies, the Star of Bethlehem is the one I recommend. Um, of course, I am not a doctor. Uh, you still need to see your doctor. I don't want you to think that you shouldn't see your doctor. Sam E is something that helps to detox the liver, boost the mood. And it is really good for people that do not have bipolar syndrome. Happy Camper is another thing that you could take. It's a plant-based, um, kind of like a vitamin. Vitamin B, uh, St. John's Wort. Drink more water because it helps to detox the body and boost your mood. Uh, vitamin D in the winter, especially if you're living in a place where there's not a lot of sunshine. Getting out in the sunshine, uh, getting out... And, and exercising on a daily basis will help you. Eating fish and omega-3s on a daily basis will help you. And like I said before, being outside, walking at sunrise is very healing. The Native Americans used to do that. Exercise, daily exercise. I highly recommend the five Tibetan rites. I have a video on my website and also on YouTube. It explains how to do it. It's five exercises and you do them in increments of three, it will transform your life and your body too. Um, dance. Play some good music because music does the same thing that food and sex do to the brain. So it will increase the dopamine levels in your brain listening to music. And it doesn't matter. It could be David Bowie. It could be Billy Idol. It could be Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. <clears throat> Whatever it is, as long as it makes you feel good, that's what you want to listen to. Okay, so um, Sam E is something that I, I mentioned earlier. I had my dog on it, and it helped her live another four years. It is S-A-M hyphen E, and if you look for my article, Natural Cures for Depression, um, Google that, Jennifer Elizabeth Masters, Natural Cures for Depression, you'll see all of these things in the article. And so now the liver is an organ that filters everything. So everything we put in our mouths, every emotion we experience, every feeling that we have is filtered through the liver. So we want to detox the liver. And that is what Sam E does. Now Sam E, S-A-M hyphen E, is something that the brain makes. It's actually, it's, a, um, it's an amino acid. And the brain makes it naturally, so um, most people don't have enough of it. It will help detoxify the liver, and it will just help you feel better. Okay, so those are a bunch of things that could help you with um, depression. So the other things that will help are meditation. 
doing mantras. And I have all sorts of free resources on my website. You are welcome to go visit. There's a free resource page. Listen to um, a couple of my radio interviews. There's a great one, Sacred Stories from the Heart. It will uplift you no matter how badly you feel. And um, like I said, I have lots of free resources for you on my website. So being afraid can really make you feel um, blocked. And um, one of the things that happened was when I went on this spiritual path and I, I started reading everything I could find and really focusing on what I was thinking, and, and that's the thing, is that if we're complaining, we're in a negative vibe. And so we need to stop complaining. We need to be very disciplined about how we think and how we feel. And when we focus on feeling good and we focus on being with people that make us feel good or help us to feel good, and we turn away from the ones that complain, moan, I call bitch, moan, die alone. It's part of my book coming out very soon. Uh, all of these things are going to help you. There, you know, you could pick any one of them, meditation, chanting, mantras, kundalini yoga is very important, but healing your relationships and forgiving everyone, all very important, and, and learning how to let go of those, those um, negative emotions. When we hold on to anger, we stuff it, and we push it down, whether it's with food or sex or, or, or just trying to ignore it. Um, it what happens is it, it turns up as, um, you know, depression. So anger that we feel we don't have the right to have is what is the cause of depression. So take a deep breath. We're going to just connect here for a second. I just want you to breathe with me because most people aren't breathing. They don't breathe often and they don't breathe deeply. And so we're going to just breathe together. Put your hand on your high heart with me. Close your eyes and take a deep breath. Breathing in, filling your lungs all the way to the top. Exhaling slowly. Smile to your heart. Take another deep breath. Exhaling slowly. One of the things that I will say that helped me tremendously was recognizing that I was barely breathing. And when we start to breathe and have gratitude for each day, it turns our life around. Instead of thinking like, oh God, what, take me out of here. Why can't I die? Like a client said to me yesterday on the phone. And so, you know, when, when we're asking to leave the planet, it's, it's that we want to escape. And escape, <laughs> Escape is not to be found in an easy way. So if you're asking to leave the planet, you want to think about that very carefully because you just have issues that you haven't healed. You may be feeling like you're a victim. I used to feel that way. And when I did, I complained all the time. I was blaming everyone. I was pointing my finger at everyone instead of taking responsibility for my own health and my own happiness. Happiness is something that we are responsible for, no one else. And it doesn't matter what happened in the past. All of those things were to be the catalyst for you and me and everyone on this planet to find a better way, to find a happier way, to find a more positive way, to open your heart, to let go of all the things that happened in the past. Believe in yourself and love you. Because that ultimately is what we're here to do. So the more that you love you, the happier you will be. All right. So I'm just going to wrap up in just a few minutes. Um, I just want to focus on a few things about anger. Anger has a purpose. And when we feel anger, it is most likely telling us that our boundaries are being crossed. You know, if... If uh, someone crosses our boundaries on a um, 
a regular basis, you may be feeling really angry. Um, if somebody's sending you dick pics or videos of them masturbating, it, that might make you feel really angry and your boundaries are being crossed. So um, resentment can do the same thing. It's really important to allow yourself to feel fully, feel the anger, feel it, allow yourself to feel it rather than stuffing it with ice cream or um, whatever it is that you stuff it with, whether it's alcohol or sweets. Um, I've done it all, believe me. So don't beat yourself up about it. Just change the way you, you do life. Change the way you feel about the things that you've experienced in the, in the past. And if you need some guidance, there's plenty of it on my website. There are all kinds of blogs to help you. Um, and, you know, if you feel like you can't do it on your own, I do free discovery sessions. If you're ready for a personal coaching session, you'd like to work with me on a um, hourly basis, you can do so. But the best way to work with me is monthly, three months, six months, or a year. And you'll find that you will progress very quickly. My client today in the UK said to me, that although we've been working together for such a short time, she says she feels me with her. And I've been told that people find me in their dreams. That So when you engage me to work with you, I am spirit also, and my spirit is working with you on all different levels. I pray for you. I am working with you in session, but I'm working with you even beyond the session. So... Um, it's time. And if not now, when? So I hope that you will commit to yourself and your own personal happiness. Take responsibility for your health and know that depression is not a life sentence. Not at all. Read my story and you'll discover that you too can heal depression. I love you. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. My website, jenniferelizabethmasters.com. Much love.